Ten years ago, archaeologists found the remains of an ancient shattered skull. In the years since, they pieced together as much as they could and created this, a 3D model of a Neanderthal, who they say lived 75,000 years ago. But scientists say getting to this point was no easy task. And the bone itself was very soft. So actually, while I was excavating the skull, even touching it with a brush could sometimes potentially cause damage. The remains were found in Iraq, where researchers have been digging up a burial site since the 1950s. While many Neanderthal remains have been found since then, Dr. Pomeroy says this find was especially exciting. From the more complete Neanderthal remains that we have, we tend to have more identified as males. And the fact that she's an older individual as well is extremely interesting. Researchers say she likely died in her 40s, and she showed signs of gum disease and arthritis. They say they want to know more about her, like her diet, traveling habits, and anything else her bones are willing to give up. It's a massive privilege, actually, to be able to work with the remains of, of any individual, but especially one as special as, as her. Remains that could tell us more about how we've evolved to who we are today. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano.